Chapter 221, Fleeing for Thousands of Kilometers This is bad, that Do Huang is catching up. Isn't that person's speed too terrifying? Seeing that the Do Huang had managed to quickly escape from the obstruction of the snake people and successfully chase after him, Xiao Yan felt the skin on his head turn numb. He hurriedly shouted in his heart, Teacher! I know, for the remaining journey, allow me to support your escape. The other side has too many people so we cannot be delayed by them. Otherwise, even if I can bring you to escape, that heavenly flame will be stolen away by them. At the moment, Yao Lao's voice had an additional seriousness. A lineup formed by a Do Huang and three Do Wangs was something that even he could not look down upon right now. Okay. I'll leave it to you. Regardless of what happens, we cannot lose the heavenly flame again. Xiao Yan nodded his head heavily and earnestly requested with a bitter smile. KK, I know. After agreeing with a smile, Yao Lao gradually descended into silence. An incomparably ferocious spiritual strength violently surged out from Xiao Yan's body. In the blink of an eye, it gained control of Xiao Yan's body. As Yao Lao's spiritual strength surged out, Xiao Yan's body trembled slightly. A faint purple-colored cloud tattoo formed on the back of the purple cloud wings as light purple lines gradually surfaced. The slow swimming light within the lines made it seem like a living thing which was both mystical and mysterious. This kind of strange phenomenon would only appear when the purple cloud wings were pushed to its limits. With Xiao Yan's current strength, he did not have the ability to achieve this. However, this was something very simple for Yao Lao. After the purple cloud lines surfaced on the purple cloud wings, Xiao Yan's flying speed appeared to instantly skyrocket to over double its original speed. The insane flying speed released a sonic boom as it passed through the air. From this, it could be seen just how frightening Xiao Yan's current speed was. Following the surge in Xiao Yan's speed, the gap between him and Gu He's group, which had been gradually narrowing, was immediately widened. Gu He and the two others adopted stunned expressions as they watched the human figure a great distance in front of them who appeared to be teleporting. A powerlessness rose in their hearts. This kind of speed was far too fast. It could be compared to the speed of a Doha Wang of the Wind Affinity. Don't tell me that guy is also a Doha Wang. The thought flashed quickly in Gu He's heart, prompting his face to change slightly. However, he quickly tightened his fist violently. Even if the opponent was a Doha Wang, Gu He would never allow him to successfully take the Heavenly Flame away. He had offered extremely generous rewards in order to invite Yan Qi and Feng Li of the ten strongest people in Jiama Empire, to take the risk of entering the inner desert and accompany him to steal the Heavenly Flame. Thus, no matter what happened, he would not give up on this Heavenly Flame. Even if the other person was a Doha Wang, it was impossible for him to give up. When Xiao Yan's speed rose drastically, the expressions of both Yan Qi and Feng Li by Gu He's side became extremely ugly. Clearly, they had thought along the same lines as Gu He. The two of them exchanged glances and shook their heads with bitter smiles. Wanting to obtain the generous reward that Gu He had mentioned was expectedly not easy. Originally they had rejoiced at Queen Medusa's disappearance but they did not expect that another mysterious and strong person of unknown origin would once again appear. These continuous twists and turns of events had caused the two strong people renowned in the Jiama Empire to feel helpless and bitter. The Heavenly Flame was indeed something that would cause many strong people to become crazy, after muttering with a bitter smile, Feng Li tilted his head around and watched the somber and furious face of Gu He. He did not expect this usually relaxed and easy-going alchemist grandmaster would have difficulty maintaining his usual demeanor in front of the heavenly flame. This allowed Feng Li to personally experience the temptation of a heavenly flame. Chase. I want to see just where this strong person comes from. As long as we know his identity, I don't believe that there is someone in the Jiama Empire that I, Gu He, cannot offend. Gu He suppressed his anger and snorted. The pair of Dochi wings on his back flapped and his speed suddenly increased by quite a bit as he swiftly chased after the small black dot in the far distance. He he, old he seems to have really become furious. 
I wonder where that strong guy originates from? If it is the Jiuma Empire, I'm afraid he will be very unlucky. Offending a tier 6 alchemist. That is not something fun to do. Looking at Gu He whose anger had already surfaced, Yan Shi could not help but part his mouth and laugh. Feng Li nodded his head. Indeed, a tier 6 alchemist was someone that even a Dohuang would not easily dare to offend. After all, the nepotism of an alchemist was really a little frightening. As long as he knew your identity, he could invite a large number of good friends daily and take turns to attack. Even if he couldn't beat you, he might tire you to death. However, even with the increased speed of Gu He and the two others, they continued to remain far behind Xiao Yan. The distance between them was also growing. This situation caused Gu He to be so furious that his face turned livid but he remained helpless. After all, they had already pushed their speed to their peak. It was already impossible for them to go any faster. Just as Gu He was gritting his teeth with anger at the increasing distance, a black shadow caught up with them in a lightning-like manner from far behind them. In an instant, she appeared in front of them. Seeing the black-robed person that had appeared in a flash just a short distance away, a joy immediately surged onto Gu He's face. At the same time he let out a sigh as he hurriedly shouted, Quick, stop that guy. Okay. A faint voice was emitted from under the black robe. However, the black-robed person did not immediately speed up. Instead, her speed slowed slightly. She turned her body around, raised her head and exposed her snow-white elegant chin under the blazing sun before whispering, I will chase after him. You should all separate immediately and fly out of the Tager Desert on your own. After that, we will gather at Yan City outside the Tager Desert. If I manage to catch up to that person, I will take the heavenly flame back. Why do we need to separate? Hearing the words, Guhi was at a loss and asked in a stunned manner. The strongest among the snake people are catching up. Their speed is extremely quick in the desert. Moreover, they have already gathered five Do Wangs. If I continue to protect you, I can safely send all of you out of the desert. However, I'm afraid that I won't be able to chase the person ahead, the black-robed person said blandly. Already. Guhi's heart was slightly shocked. He mused for an instant, and decisively called out, All right, let's split up. I'll leave the person in front to you. You need not worry about the rest of us. Although we cannot face the strong snake people head on, it should not be too difficult for us to leave the desert. Okay. The black-robed person nodded slightly. After some reminders, she flapped her green-colored pair of Dou Chi wings and chased toward the place where Xiao Yan disappeared in a lightning-like manner. I'll leave it to you. You must take the heavenly flame back. Watching the black-robed person, Gu He shouted. He waited for the former to disappear from sight before he frowned and turned around to glance at the horizon. He said gravely, Old Shi, Feng Li, let's split up, remember, we'll meet at Yan City. Be careful. Hee <laughs> hee, all right. It's a pity. I had originally wanted to have a big fight with the snake people. But from the looks of it, it seems we won't have the chance. Yan Shi nodded his head and smiled. There will be plenty of opportunities. Now, they are superior in numbers, let's withdraw first. Gu He gave a forceful smile as he said. Ha ha, you don't need to be too worried. You should know sect leader Yun's strength well. She should be able to catch up to the guy in front. Seeing Gu He's face, Feng Li smiled and comforted Gu He. Ugh, hopefully. If she still fails, then it may be that I am not fated to have the heavenly flame. Gu He let out a soft sigh. He placed his hands together and shook it toward the other two before saying seriously, The two of you, be careful. I will take my leave. After saying this, the pair of wings on his back flapped. He then turned around and shot toward the edge of the desert. KK, let us leave too. Seeing Gu He's back disappear, Yan Shi and Feng Li also smiled. The wings on their back flapped and they turned around before flying in different directions. 
A short while after the three of them disappeared, five glows flashed over like falling stars. A moment later, they stopped at the place where Guhi and the other two had stood. They have separated. After sensing for a moment, you may frowned and faced the other four, what do we do now? Let's split up and give chase. You may, the three of you will go and chase Guhi and the other two. Yan Si and I will go after the Doha Wang. A snake person wearing grey robes said. This snake person was fairly old with a face full of wrinkles. It was clear that he had quite a high reputation among these people. Thus, when they heard his arrangement, even the bad-tempered Yan Si did not say anything to oppose him. Elder Yin, you and Yan Si are no match for the Doha Wang. In the sacred city, she easily managed to escape even when the three of us attacked together. Mo Basi said with a frown. Relax. We will not confront her head on. I have been leaving some markings along the way here. If Nan Shi and the others were to arrive and follow the markings to catch up to us, we will attack together. That Do Huang would not have an easy time. On the other hand, if the few of you manage to catch up to the opponent, you must give them a memorable lesson. They had haughtily charged into our snake people race's territory. If they leave without any losses, won't that cause our snake people race to lose face? The grey-clothed old man's voice was somewhat hoarse and cold. Yes. Yu Mei's pretty face was completely icy. She nodded and did not say any other unnecessary things. After the three of them exchanged glances, the Dochi wings on their back flapped and three of them flew in the direction of Guhi and the other two in a lightning-like manner. Let's go, Yan Si. I had once exchanged blows with the three Dohuangs of the Jiama Empire. If I can come into contact with the black-robed person, I should be able to identify him. Even if he escapes, our snake people race will be able to take revenge for this wrong. Seeing Yu Mei and the two others swiftly disappear, the grey-clothed old man narrowed his muddy old eyes and said faintly. Yes. Yan Si nodded his head. A ferocious glint danced in his eyes. With a flap from the wings on his back, he and the grey-clothed old man turned into two light rays and shot in the same direction as the black-robed person from before. Chapter 222, Yun Ji Within the desert, sharp explosive sounds rang throughout the sky. The moment the explosive sound occurred, a figure appeared, paused for a moment and the next time he appeared, he was a few hundred meters away. The instant when this figure disappeared, another black figure closely followed. The shape that this black figure adopted while flying through the sky was like a floating willow leaf. As the figure swayed, there was a perfect combination of both speed and elegance which appeared extremely pleasing. The speed of this black figure in the back could only be said to be better compared to the figure in front. Each time the figure shot forward like a whirlwind, a faint afterimage would remain in place. A moment later, it slowly disappeared under the hot sunlight. As the figure swept past, there was once a maximum of eight after images that appeared in the sky. From this it can be imagined how terrifying the speed of the black figure was. As one person fled and the other gave chase, Xiao Yan's body had once again turned into a small black spot that had appeared in the black-robed person's sight. The black-robed person lifted her head slightly and watched the black-clothed figure ahead who was carrying the green lotus seat and flying quickly. She frowned slightly and mumbled in a slightly suspicious manner from under the robes, this person's speed is really somewhat strange. During the flight, there hasn't been any do chi spilled out. This perfect control is very rarely seen. Why have I never known that such a strong person has appeared near the Tagor Desert? This kind of speed is something that even some Dohuang cannot compare with. If I did not have wind after images, an agility do technique that raises my speed, I would not be able to shorten the distance between him and myself. But even if it is like this, it appears that I still have difficulty catching up to him. Under the black robe, a pair of long and narrow eyebrows that appeared like a drawing were increasingly knit together, revealing the owner's doubt in her heart. I cannot continue to let it drag on like this. Otherwise, if a sandstorm were to occur, I would lose my target, after slowly exhaling a breath with an orchid-like fragrance, 
a pair of snow-white hands rolled out of the black-colored sleeves. They slowly formed a seal and softly muttered, I will be able to attack at a range of 500 meters. Now, there's a little more left. I'll speed up. As the voice fell, the black-robed person's toes gently pressed on the air. Her body gracefully rotated in midair and an afterimage was left in the original spot. The original body had strangely disappeared and when it appeared again, it was already over a hundred meters away. Teacher, we seem to have provoked a hornet's nest, feeling the strange wind sound beside his ear, the corner of Xiao Yan's eyes glanced behind him. He noticed the black-robed person flashing over and could not help but laugh bitterly in his heart. The one who has come is that Doha Wang, no wonder she can catch up. Yao Lao sighed gently. Immediately, he teased, I think that the black-robed person seems to have a good impression of you. Why don't you try and see if she will let you off? Cough, let's forget it. The last time, she may have showed compassion for the little pitiful me. This time is different. The attraction of something like a heavenly flame is far too large. She and I aren't even acquainted. As long as her head was never been caught between the door, I think that she would finish me off very decisively, without the slightest hesitation. Hearing Yao Lao's words, Xiao Yan laughed dryly. He was about to urge Yao Lao to speed up when he felt his heart tighten. All the hair on his body stood up at this moment. Be careful. Rotating wind wall. The indifferent cold cry and Yao Lao's hurried voice suddenly sounded together. As these cries fell, the space tens of meters ahead of Xiao Yan began to become distorted. An essence wall that was completely agglomerated of violent wind abruptly took sharp. On the wall, countless of wind blades were wildly rotating. Looking at its appearance, anyone who knocked into it would immediately be cut into small slices of meat. With wide eyes, Xiao Yan stared at the wall of wind blades that he was closing in upon. At that moment, his eyes had shrunk to the size of a pinhole. Although he was trying desperately to break, Xiao Yan's momentum prompted him to violently fly against the wind blade wall. W.A.A. Stop! The aghast in Xiao Yan's heart caused his face to turn pale. His body was about a few meters from the wind blade wall when a thick white flame suddenly soared from his body. At the same time, his body froze quietly, as though it had suddenly been ruthlessly nailed in midair. Xiao Yan's lips quivered slightly as his body quietly stopped in midair. A few centimeters in front of him, the enormous wind blade walls was still grinding violently, much like a pulpier. Numerous Jiang Jiang noises sounded, appearing extremely frightening. A few drops of cold sweat rolled down from his forehead. Xiao Yan's voice trembled a little, he. This is far too vicious. Hand over the heavenly flame. I don't know who you are but offending a tier 6 alchemist is not a wise decision. A calm cool voice slowly sounded from behind Xiao Yan. There was a little pant in the voice. Clearly, this sudden attack was a little energy consuming even for her. Ugh teacher, prepare to go all out. Hearing the voice behind him, Xiao Yan let out a soft sigh. His plan to flee had already failed. Now, all that remained was the most tragic direct confrontation. Ugh. I'll try my best. But I still stand by my words. I can protect your life in a battle with a Dohuang but I cannot guarantee the same for the heavenly flame. Yao Lao sighed and helplessly said. Hearing this, Xiao Yan laughed smiled, without my life, what is the point of having the heavenly flame? It's better to protect my life. Pulling the lotus seat with his hand, Xiao Yan eyed the flame at the core of it and gently sighed. His voice was somewhat hoarse after flying for such a long time, all right. You win. Take the thing. As he said, Xiao Yan carelessly threw the green lotus seat behind him. At the moment the green lotus seat left his hand, Xiao Yan's feet suddenly stepped in the air. The pair of wings behind him flapped and his body rushed toward the ground. Seeing that Xiao Yan had replied so decisively, the black-robed person was clearly at a momentary loss. She saw the green lotus seat that was slowly floating over and then eyed Xiao Yan who had suddenly escaped fiercely. 
After a brief hesitation, she gave up blocking him. The wings on her back flapped and she pounced toward the green lotus seat to snatch it back. Just as the black-robed person was slightly over 10 meters from the green lotus seat, a ferocious suction force was emitted from the ground and the green lotus in midair immediately shot down. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm sorry. After landing on the ground, Xiao Yan beckoned with his palm. The green lotus seat once again landed in his hand. Feeling its warmth, Xiao Yan laughed but did not turn back. His wings violently flapped and the yellow sand on the ground swam upwards. In only a moment, it was scattered throughout the sky. With her body floating in midair, the black-robed person coldly stared at the raising yellow sand that had covered her vision. She coldly snorted. Ignoring the yellow sand, her gaze swept below her amidst the yellow sand. Her delicate hand swiftly formed a seal before she softly cried, Square wind wall. As his voice fell, four enormous wind walls suddenly appeared and covered the entire area within a hundred meters. The instant the wind walls appeared, Xiao Yan, who was planning to use the yellow sand to cover his escape immediately stopped. He foolishly watched the huge wind wall a few meters from him. A long while later, he bitterly smiled and said, This time around, I must risk my life. This person is far too calm, choosing the most effective way to stop me in such a short time. My patience has a limit. You are fast approaching my limit. A somewhat icy and bland voice once again sounded above his head. The black-robed person coldly glanced at Xiao Yan's black-clothed figure and slowly descended. There was a compressed rotating tornado on her delicate left hand. It was quickly spun while emitting a ferocious force. Meanwhile, her right hand lightly waved and a strange-looking sword which was emitting a pale green glow surfaced. Ah, Xiao Yan squatted down as he let out a soft sigh. He carefully placed the green lotus on the sand dune and inhaled a gentle breath. The hopeless dejection on his handsome and delicate face swiftly disappeared. Replacing it was a ghastly ruthlessness of someone who had been forced into a corner and was ready to strike back. Xiao Yan stood up and slowly turned around. Finally, he directly faced this Doha Wang. His finger gently planned over the storage ring and an enormous dark black ruler appeared in his palm. Xiao Yan held the heavy Xian ruler tightly in his hand and inserted it heavily in the sand dune. Shrugging his shoulders at the black-robed person, he said with a smile, You should be a little surprised looking at my face, no? The youth whom all of you randomly rescued in the desert would actually be the one who gave you the greatest headache. Surprise, indeed very surprised. The Do Wang's surprise was fast reaching the point of extreme shock. The moment Xiao Yan turned his body around, the body of the black-robed person suddenly stiffened. The beautiful eyes under the black robe were filled with shock as they stared at the handsome and delicate face which was wearing a smile. She did not expect that the person who had almost caused her group to fail at the last moment would be this guy. This not only surprised her. It gave her a shock like being struck by lightning. Hiss, under the black robe. The black-robed person chest clearly rose and fell intensely once. A long breath was released. The black-robed person's voice was of an incredulous tone as she softly muttered, How can it be you? How can it be you? Hearing the repeated words from the black-robed person, Xiao Yan rubbed his head. He then lowered it to glance at the heavenly flame by his side as he helplessly said, I'm sorry. I really need it. So. Didn't I ask you to go back? Why are you still loitering around in the desert? A female voice that suddenly sounded a little angry came from under the black robe. Uh, the black robed person attitude caused Xiao Yan to be at a loss. Feeling neither able to laugh nor cry, he shook his head and said, Big sister, the reason for me coming to the desert is to search for the heavenly flame. Moreover, I have known from the beginning that Queen Medusa had the thing I needed. Why do I need to leave? The heavenly flame is now in my hands. If you want me to hand it over, I think it would be better if you came and took it instead, however, I will definitely not let it go so easily. Xiao Yan suddenly lifted the heavy ruler, pointed it at the black-robed person and laughed in a somewhat proud voice. You, 
seeing Xiao Yan's action, the black-robed person was somewhat angry. It had only been half a year since they saw each other but this guy actually dared to challenge her? Under the black robe, a pair of beautiful eyes were both furious and happy as they stared at Xiao Yan who appeared serious as he challenged her. A long while later, she bitterly laughed and shook her head. The force on her delicate hand was slowly withdrawn. She really had trouble fighting Xiao Yan. Ugh, he is really my, the black robed person thought in her heart as a bright red color surfaced on her pretty face under the black robe. She helplessly shook her head and mused for a long while. After which, she waved her hand in an extremely distracted manner. The usual restrained and elegant self involuntarily scolded, Get lost. Just get lost. Take the heavenly flame and go. Just pretend that I did not catch up with you today. Uh, the even stranger action of the black-robed person instantly caused Xiao Yan's face to completely dull. A long while later, he finally said in a disbelieving voice, You, you don't want the heavenly flame. I don't have too much obligation to help Gu He do so many things. I have already done my duty by taking the risk and guarding them as they entered the desert. The black-robed person said blandly. As she spoke, she suddenly tilted her head and eyed the sky behind her. After which, she turned around to leave. Xiao Yan was speechless as he eyed the black-robed person who turned around to leave. Then he suddenly asked, What are you doing? The black-robed person paused. She was quiet for a long while before she said softly, There's some people catching up. You should take your leave first. I'll, block them. That, big sister, are you sure your head has not been caught between the door? Don't tell me you are my relative. My aunt. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth twitched. He was unable to accept this woman's strange behavior and involuntarily shouted. Get lost. Hearing Xiao Yan's words, an embarrassed, angry cry was emitted from under the black robe. She waved her sleeves and a yellow sand arrow viciously shot toward Xiao Yan. Just as it was about to strike Xiao Yan's head, it suddenly exploded and rained yellow sand over his head. Xiao Yan hurriedly pushed aside the yellow sand. His gaze swept the quiet and elegant moving figure that was faintly revealed under the large black robe. He sighed with an utterly confused mind, lowered his body and held the green lotus seat in his palm. Suddenly, he seemed to have thought of something and his body stilled. He abruptly lifted his head and stared intently at the strange long sword that was carrying a green light in the hand of the black-robed person. Slowly, the black-robed person's figure merged with the noble and beautiful figure of the Dohuang who dared to confront the amethyst-winged lion back then until there was no difference between them as they matched perfectly. It was as though a thunderbolt struck through the confused fog within his mind. An elegant name that Xiao Yan could not forget gradually surfaced from deep within his memories. After which, it was like a brand which ruthlessly branded itself in his mind. As this name surfaced, the black-robed person's earlier actions, which were foolish to the point of being pitiful, caused the tip of Xiao Yan's nose to redden. Yun Ji. Is it you? Ha ha, I love you so much. Ha ha. From within the sandstorm-filled sky, Xiao Yan's extremely pleased and unrestrained laughter suddenly followed the dancing wild wind and was transmitted to the black-robed person's ear. At this moment, the black-robed person's lovely body suddenly stiffened. Her delicate and thin body in the fierce wind was like a beautiful peony swaying in the wind, appearing noble and thus elegant. Chapter 223, A Short Meeting After standing in the sandstorm for a long while, the black-robed person let out a soft sigh. She gradually turned around as her delicate hand slowly lifted her black-colored cloak. Immediately, that pretty and indifferent white face was exposed in the raging sandstorm. As her beautiful eyes watched the young man who had a brilliant smile on his face, an involuntary gentle smile surfaced on Yun Ji's red moist lips. She did not take those words, with an extremely lethal effect, that Xiao Yan had shouted a moment ago, to heart. It was clear to her that the words were merely a joke that the other party had said in excitement. Yet, this joke caused a gentle part in her heart to slightly stir. Ugh, 
I was still recognized, Yun Ji's delicate hand pulled aside the black hair on her forehead. She then shook the strange-looking longsword and a helplessness appeared on her pretty face. Hee <laughs> hee. Eyeing that familiar pretty face, Xiao Yan could not help but part his mouth and laugh. He carried the green lotus seat in his palm, took two steps forward and said with a smile, It has been half a year since we last met. How are you? Ugh, quite good, Yun Ji pursed up her red lips. She seemed to be trying to make herself to be as indifferent as she usually was. However, each time her gaze glanced at the brilliant smile of the young man, the forceful indifference she pretended to reveal on her face would swiftly collapse. After repeating this for a few times, Yun Ji could only sigh faintly, nodded and replied softly. Sweeping her gaze over Xiao Yan's body, Yun Ji pretty eyes brightened somewhat. After half a year's of training, Xiao Yan's body undoubtedly appeared taller and straighter. The handsome and delicate face of his also appeared darker after a roaming the desert for a few months. His facial lines that originally appeared somewhat gentle currently had a faint resolute feeling seeping out from them. Clearly, the young man had grown a lot during this half a year. With Yun Ji's identity, she had met quite a number of young outstanding individuals. Among them, there were some who were so handsome that they could cause women to throw themselves at them. Even so, she did not pay even the slightest bit of attention to them. The only man who could cause her heart to be filled with joy at his growth seemed to be this young man in front of her whom she had an extremely messy relationship with. You have advanced to the Doshi realm. While she was sweeping her gaze, Yun Ji was a little surprised, but immediately felt relieved. Back then when they parted, Xiao Yan was at the peak level of a dojet. Although with Xiao Yan's training talent, breaking through was only a matter of time, being able swiftly break through a doje and stabilize his strength in a short half a year was something Yun Ji did not expect. Yes, I was merely lucky. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded his head. His gaze sized up Yun Ji. The surprise from before had already calmed down. He mused for a moment and asked with hesitation, Why are you together with Pilking Guhi? Hearing Xiao Yan's question, Yun Ji was briefly at a loss. She moved her eyes as she said softly, Pilking Guhi has a large number of friends in the Jiuma Empire. I am also acquainted with him and owe him a favor. This time he invited me along when he came to the desert to search for the heavenly flame. Oh. Xiao Yan nodded. In his heart, he sucked his lips at the position Gu he held in the Jiuma Empire. After which, he lowered his head and glanced at the green lotus seat before saying, Then, if you don't bring the heavenly flame back, won't he blame you? Perhaps. But my mission is only to ensure their safety. As for other things, I don't have too much of an obligation. Moreover he thought of you as a mysterious Doha Wang. Thus he ought to know how difficult it is to take a heavenly flame from a Doha Wang. If I fail, he won't be able to say anything. Of course, he would undoubtedly feel somewhat disappointed. Yun Ji sighed gently. Although she and Gu He were old friends, she was also very clear about the stubborn character of Xiao Yan. If she were to try to take the flame, this young boy would immediately turn hostile. He may have appeared to have a matureness that far surpassed those of his age but on certain things, he was even more stubborn than a three-year-old child. He would not give up on the things he wanted even if he were to be beaten to death. As her delicate hand gently rubbed her somewhat painful head, Yun Ji bitterly smiled. She sighed in her heart for having such terrible luck. It would be fine for her to meet anyone else but she had to meet this boy. If the person in front of her was someone else, even if the other party was a Doha Wang, Yun Ji would still think of ways to steal the heavenly flame away. Although with her strength, she would be able to take the heavenly flame in the blink of an eye, Yun Ji really had difficulty attacking this man who had a complicated relationship with her since he had once seen her almost naked body. He <laughs> he, appearing to understand Yun Ji's frustration, Xiao Yan awkwardly smiled. He held the green lotus seat close to his chest and mumbled, I'm sorry, I have also been chasing after this thing for half a year. Even if you didn't come to the desert, I would still have looked for Queen Medusa. 
but what do you want the heavenly flame for? With your current strength, if you come in even the slightest contact with it, you would end up without even a corpse. Yun Ji gently frowned as her eyes stared on the green lotus seat in Xiao Yan's hand before she said in a puzzled voice. Haha, that should be true, but I really need it. Xiao Yan laughed before replying vaguely. Seeing Xiao Yan's vague manner, Yun Ji could only shake her head helplessly. Since he did not want to say more, she did not want to ask for more either. Immediately, she tilted her head and stared at the far distance of the desert. She said, you should leave here first. There are two Douwangs from the snake people race who are catching up from behind. I will help you block them for a short time. What about after that? I think that you will simply leave without saying goodbye again. Xiao Yan shrugged his shoulders and said with a smile. I'm sorry. The last time, I really had some urgent things. Thus, hearing the little bit of resentment in Xiao Yan's words, Yun Ji could only softly explain. She then said, once I have blocked them, I will go and meet up with Gu He and the other. After all, we have already arranged to meet. Are you in such a rush? Xiao Yan helplessly sighed. He smiled bitterly and said, it was so difficult for us to meet, yet we must immediately part ways. I don't know how long we have to wait before the next time we meet. People like you are always so mysterious. Yun Ji smiled gently. She eyed the young man's face and hesitated a little. Suddenly, she asked, have you been training alone? Ah, yes, I guess, Xiao Yan fondled his chin and smiling as he nodded his head. He did not expose Yao Lao. Your training talent may be quite good but even the best jade needs to be meticulously carved. After all, training by yourself would lead to you to take many unnecessary routes. If you don't mind, I can introduce a place for you. There, you would obtain the best training environment. Yun Ji's beautiful eyes flashed gently as she said with a smile. What place? Xiao Yan was at a little bit of a loss. Although he did not have too much interest in going, he could not resist asking out of curiosity. The Misty Cloud Sect Yun Ji smiled and said, The Misty Cloud Sect is extremely strong within the Jiuma Empire. Coincidentally, I have a friend in there. If you are willing, I can. Once her words reached this point, Yun Ji suddenly stopped. She realized that the smiling expression on the face of the young man in front of her had suddenly turned a little ugly. What happened? Yun Ji asked in an uncertain voice without knowing what happened. Haha, forget it. What is the point of a small fly like me going to a place like the Misty Cloud Sect? If I go, I would only be seeking to be ridiculed. Xiao Yan shook his head and said coldly. Eyeing Xiao Yan whose attitude had suddenly became somewhat vile, Yun Ji gently pressed her eyebrows together and explained, The Misty Cloud Sect is not as unbearable as you imagine. Moreover, with your training talent, who would be able to mock you? I am saying this for your own good. At the very least, you would be able to directly obtain suitable Qi methods and Dou techniques, and the disciples in the Misty Cloud Sect are also specially picked. Their qualities are not bad and you should be able to get along very well with them. Ugh, forget it, forget it. In any case, I don't have a very good impression of that place. I'm quite happy training alone and don't have the mood to go to that whatever section. Hearing Yun Ji describe the misty cloud sex so perfectly, a displeased emotion soared within Xiao Yan's heart. This was especially so when he heard that the quality of the disciples there was not bad. A thread of furious flame appeared without warning in his heart, not bad? A place which can groom a girl like Nalan Yan Ran. How good could it possibly be? With a gloomy expression, Xiao Yan let out a gentle sigh. He waved his hand impatiently and said blandly, All right. Don't say any more. Since you need to find Gu He and the others, then we shall part ways here. I also have some urgent matters to attend to. Goodbye. We shall meet again if we have the opportunity. If you really don't want to meet me again, then forget it. Thank you very much for today. If there's an opportunity in the future, 
I will return you this favor. After saying this, Xiao Yan did not say any other unnecessary words. He carried the green lotus seat in his hand, turned around and flapped the pair of wings on his back. After which, he swiftly flew up into the air and shot toward the distance without turning back. Standing confused on the sand dune, Yun Ji watched Xiao Yan who had turned into a black dot. A long while later, she bit her lips and angrily stomped her feet. A grievance that she was not resigned to surfaced on her face. She had good intentions in planning for Xiao Yan, but she did not expect him to give her such a negative response. Moreover, his hidden sarcasm in his words caused Yun Ji to feel as though her heart had been eaten by a wolf. TL, heart eaten by a wolf, in this case it means that he did not appreciate her good intentions and instead responded by hurting her, with sarcastic words. Stubborn boy. Don't go if you don't want to. You don't need to act this way. Yun Ji bit her red lips. The tip of her foot stomped on the sand dune. A ferocious force shot out and pulled out a gully of over 10 meters on the sand dune. Return the favor, do you think I would cherish the favor of a small doshi like you? After violently venting her anger, Yun Ji's pretty face was covered red. Her hand suddenly gripped the long sword tightly and let out a soft sigh. The emotions that were usually rarely seen on her face slowly receded. Replacing it was in coldness and indifferentness. Tilting her head, Yun Ji icily watched two tiny black dots that appeared at the edge of her sight which were quickly flying over. A group of sticky candy that cannot be thrown off. Do you think I won't kill you? TL, sticky candy refers to people who stick to someone else. The long sword in her hand pointed forward and a sharp sword force shot out of it. She stared indifferently at the two small dots that were closing in and an icy angle was lifted from the corner of her mouth. Clearly, she, who was filled with grievances and anger caused by Xiao Yan, was planning to use these people to vent her fury. Chapter 224 Five Snake Death Poison Seal With a gloomy expression, Xiao Yan flew furiously for some distance in the desert before his heart began to gradually calm down. His speed slowly declined. As he recalled the attitude he showed Yun Ji, he could not help but smile bitterly. It seemed that he went overboard. She kindly recommended a training place for my own good. Ugh, I was reckless. Xiao Yan patted his forehead gently and softly sighed. Xiao Yan rubbed his forehead gently with his palm. He recalled how Yun Ji was frustrated after seeing him but still gave up her intentions of taking the heavenly flame. The apologetic feeling in his heart grew even more dense. The wings behind his back flapped slightly and Xiao Yan's figure stopped in midair. He turned his head around and stared at the end of the desert before mumbling with hesitation, Should I go back and take a look? Xiao Yan frowned and mused for a moment. The corner of his eyes glanced at the green lotus seed he carried on his hand and sighed lightly. He whispered, with her ability, two Do Wangs should not be able to do anything to her. I am currently carrying a unique treasure like the heavenly flame on me. If I were to return, I may end up bringing her quite a lot of trouble. Xiao Yan muttered to himself for a while. Just when he was planning to leave, the calm sky in the distant inner region of the desert suddenly raged. Five incomparably ferocious forces shot out from the horizon. The five different forces were divided into five different huge colored pillars. They were like five pillars holding the sky, fixed tightly on the enormous blue sky. This is. Staring seriously at the five huge light pillars at the edge of his sight, Xiao Yan's face changed as he cried out involuntarily. The strong people of the snake people race, five Do Wangs. Yao Lao's somewhat stunned old voice sounded in Xiao Yan's heart, looks like the strong of the snake people race have arrived very quickly. That woman called Yun Ji seems to have some trouble. Five Do Wangs. Hearing this, Xiao Yan's heart suddenly jumped. His expression instantly sunk. With a frown, he said, their speed is really too fast, but with Yun Ji's strength, there shouldn't be any problem, no? She is after all a Do Huang. That's difficult to say, a Do Huang may be very strong but a Do Wang isn't too lousy either. Moreover, 
it is the sum of five Do Wangs, and the strong people of the Snake People clan know some Do techniques to combine their strength due to their bloodline. If we add all these up, then Yun Qi should have quite a bit of trouble handling them. Yao Lao voiced his thoughts. Xiao Yan's frown deepened. A long while later, he tightly pressed his lips together, stared intently at the five huge energy pillars above the desert and did not hesitate in saying, then we will return. It's up to you. Yao Lao was unconcerned with regards to this. Xiao Yan nodded his head, carried the green lotus seat and gently flapped the purple cloud wings on his back. He turned around and swiftly retraced the path he had taken. In the never-ending golden-colored desert, six figures were suspended in the empty space. Behind each of them were a pair of flapping dochi wings. As the pairs of dochi wings flapped, bursts of gentle breezes swept up waves of yellow dust. In the middle of the surrounding five figures, the black-robed person stood indifferently. Her beautiful eyes glanced briefly at the five around her and gently said, Your speeds really shocks me. Ba. Yan Siai, whose face was a little pale spat out a mouthful of fresh blood with phlegm. His clothes were currently in pieces and his entire body was covered with blood. Numerous frightening hideous wounds surfaced on his lower abdomen and his arms. When he and the grey-clothed man had took the lead in blocking Yun Ji just now, the woman who was entirely covered in black acted like an vengeful woman who appeared to have been abandoned by a man. She suddenly attacked them the moment they met without even giving them the chance to speak. Under this kind of situation where they did not have time to act, Yan Si took the first blow. In just a short few minutes, Yan Si suffered some quite serious injuries under the black-robed person's attack. Had the other three strong snake people not arrived in time, he might have ended up being very seriously injured even with help from the grey-clothed old man. A Do Wang may be considered to be someone strong but they were of an entirely different class than a Do Huang. With just two Do Wangs, they did not have the qualification to clash with a Do Huang. Additionally, Yan Si's combat method had always been clashing head-on. By fighting in this manner with a Do Huang, he would naturally be at a terrible disadvantage. Of course, the most important reason for his injuries was that the black-robed person was extremely vicious in her attacks. You are quite vicious in your attacks. Not only did you not apologize after haughtily charging into the territory of our Snake People clan but you have instead acted this arrogantly. Do you really think that our Snake People race does not have anyone who can defeat you? The grey-clothed old man swept his gaze coldly across the black-robed person as he said thickly. He he, apologize? But even if I did apologize, I don't think that you would accept it. Since it is useless, why should I apologize? The black-robed person laughed indifferently, the snake people race who have lost Queen Medusa seem to be unable to pose much trouble. Despicable and shameless humans. If you had not come and disturbed her, how could Her Majesty's evolution fail? Yan Si angrily shouted. Tsk tsk, if you really think like that, then I'm afraid that you are completely mistaken. Although Queen Medusa's evolution appears to have failed, she was raised by me. Thus, I can vaguely sense that she has not really died. Someday in the future, she will return to the Tager Desert and once more lead our snake people race to leave this damned place. The grey-clothed old man coldly laughed, when that time comes, we will definitely go and settle all the scores today. Your name should be Yin Shi, right? A very well-respected old man in the snake people race. Your current strength has already advanced to an eight-star Do Wang. What you said? Ah, maybe. If there is really such a day, I really hope to be able to exchange blows with her. Hearing what the grey-clothed old man vowed, Yun Ji frowned slightly. She immediately shook her hand gently and said indifferently. The current Jiuma Empire has three Do Huang who are known. I have once met all of them. Thus. I can also recognize you. He he, behind you is indeed an extremely large strength, but just wait. Our snake people race will definitely take revenge. The grey-clothed old man coldly laughed. A meaningless threat. Yunji laughed softly and shook her head. 
she was naturally not one of those useless people who would be frightened by a simple threat. Immediately, she laughed and gradually lifted the long sword in her hand that was carrying a green light. A cold angle was lifted on her pretty face as she chuckled, since you have already said such vicious words, then don't blame me for not showing any mercy. Today, I would like to see how many among the five of you can escape. Hmm, you may be a Dohuang but it won't be so easy trying to handle us five Dohuangs. Hearing Yun Ji's words, a middle-aged snake person wearing a green robe shouted with a cruel and fierce expression. Then, come and try. Yun Ji's delicate hand gently wiped across the sharp sword blade. The clear sound of a sword ringing reverberated through the air. At the moment when the sword ring sounded, Yun Ji's body suddenly disappeared. The next time she appeared, she was already behind the snake person in a green robe. At the tip of the sword, the pale green-colored sword energy was expended by over three feet. In a tricky and vicious manner, it pierced towards the latter vital spot. The instant Yun Ji's body disappeared, the battle-experienced green-robed snake person sensed something. He swung his snake tail as his body twisted strangely towards the left by half a foot. With this, he narrowly avoided that cold sword blade. Although her first attack missed, there was no change to Yun Ji's expression. She released the sword hilt with her palm. Instantly, the strange long sword nestled on her palm and began rotating swiftly. The sharp sword blade formed a cold glint and gently cut across the waist of the green-robed snake person. The hard snake scales covering his waist was like thin paper to the sword energy that was formed with intense qi compression and put up no resistance to the attack. Qi. The depressing sound of the sword blade slashing through flesh sounded in the air. The green-robed snake person held his hand tightly against his waist. Bright red blood seeped out from between his fingers and continued to drip down. The intense pain caused his face to be filled with perspiration. From the moment of Yun Ji's sudden attack to the moment when the green-robed snake person retreated with an injury, only a short fraction of a second had passed. When everyone regained their composure, the green-robed snake person, who was one of the top among the snake people race, had already been injured and pulled back in a haggardly manner. Her speed is too fast. Do not take her on alone. 5 Snake Death Poison Seal The grey-clothed old man hurriedly called out with a dark face as he eyed the injured snake person. As he called out, the grey-clothed old man's hands began to swiftly form a series of seals that caused people's eyes to be dazzled. As these seals were being formed, a large quiet green glow was quickly being agglomerated in his palm. The instant after the grey-clothed person began to form the seals, the remaining four also quickly began doing the seals. They had practiced such seals countless times and therefore, they were able to swiftly complete the troublesome seals when they heard the order. The moment all five of them formed the seals, a circle of pale quiet light energy cover began to appear out of nowhere, firmly encompassing them within it. Clearly, this was a measure undertaken to prevent the opponent from launching a sudden sneak attack to the seal casters. An interested glint flashed across Yun Ji's pretty eyes as she eyed the increasingly dense energy within the hands of the five of them. She had heard of the strangeness of Dou techniques of snake people race. This was especially so for some merging Dou technique, which could combine many Qi's into one and shoot it out at once, achieving the aim of contending with higher class strong people. Seeing the merging Dou technique that they were currently using, it appeared around that of a high Xian level. A merging Dou technique of this level could already be considered as an extremely high level among the snake people race. Thus, only the leaders of the eight large tribes had the ability and the qualification to use it. 5 Snake Poison Breaking Seal Form Following a low cry by the grey-clothed old man, the glow within the five Dou Wang's hands suddenly became extremely magnificent. An instant later, Five quiet green energy pillars that were tens of feet tall suddenly shot out of the palms of the five of them. After the quiet green energy pillars shot out from their palms, they began to twirl with each other. A moment later, an enormous energy pillar suddenly appeared in the sky. When this energy pillar appeared in the sky, wild winds blew within the desert. A chi that was filled with bloodthirstiness and ruthlessness suddenly surfaced from within the energy pillar. 
the enormous energy pillar abruptly began to writhe and transformed into a green energy serpent that was over a hundred feet long. Hiss. The appearance of the green energy serpent resulted in the wild winds of the desert flourishing. One by one, tornadoes that could be seen by the naked eye began to swiftly rotate by the side of the green energy serpent's body. The whizzing sound made by them echoed through the desert. Surprise and seriousness appeared in Yun Ji's pretty eyes as she watched the enormous green energy serpent in the sky. She did not expect that these five Do Wangs would actually be able to display such a strong force. No wonder the Snake People races Do Techniques Aries quite famous in the Do Chi continent. This kind of strange merging Do Technique really shocks people, Yun Zi sighed gently. She held the sword hilt tightly and all the forces in her body suddenly changed until they were as sharp as a sword blade. Numerous huge green-colored violent winds began to swiftly agglomerate around her body. As she stared intently at the enormous green serpent that was charging over, Yun Ji's toe gently tapped on the empty air while a powerful attack was readied in her hand. She was just about to charge forward when her expression suddenly changed and she hurriedly turned her head around. In the horizon, a human figure that was entirely covered in a thick white flame flashed a couple of times and strangely appeared in front of Yun Ji as though he had teleported. His hands flipped and a turbulent white-colored flame violently engulfed the skyline. After which, it was like a monstrous large wave when it swallowed up the enormous green serpent. Suspended in midair, Yun Ji stared blankly at this sudden scene. Her pretty face was both stunned and astonished at the same time. Chapter 225, Ability When the enormous green energy serpent came into contact with the sweeping thick white flame, it began to swiftly disappear, much like snow coming into contact with heat. In just the blink of an eye, the ferocious huge serpent that whizzed over the skyline suddenly disappeared from the sky. All that was left was a somewhat desolate cry from it that slowly echoed in the sky, until it disappeared. The sudden change caused everyone to adopt completely stunned faces. A long while later, numerous shocked gazes finally hurriedly turned toward the flame person in the sky. The human figure stood under the blue sky and a thick white-colored flame continued to writhe on his body, completely covering him. Due to the flame being extremely dense, those outside also had difficulty seeing the face of the person under it. The high temperature caused by the flame also caused the surrounding air to appear a little distorted. From afar, it was as though creases had formed in the air, appearing extremely strange. Even though the five Do Wangs of the Snake People were quite far away, they could still feel the intense heat emitted from the white flame. After swallowing dryly, they exchanged glances and could see the fear in each other's hearts. Who are you? Why have you meddled in the affairs of the snake people race? The sudden appearance of the flaming human figure and the frightening attack that he had unleashed immediately caused the grey-clothed old man's face to turn much more gloomy. However, in this kind of situation, he did not dare to randomly offend a mysterious strong person of unknown origin. He exchanged glances with his companions before taking a step forward and asking in a deep voice. No reason. I simply like it. An old voice that was neither fast nor slow was emitted from within the white-colored flame. The indifferent tone resulted in the faces of the grey-clothed old man's group to turn ugly. Standing a short distance behind the flame person, Yun Ji was a little stunned as she stared at the human figure in front of her. She knit her eyebrows together for a moment. However, she could not think of a strong Do Huang who could control a white-colored flame within the Jiuma Empire. Yun Ji's pretty eyes swept across the writhing white flame before her pupils suddenly shrunk. A moment later, shock suddenly flashed past her. From her senses, she could clearly feel that despite the hot temperature emanated from the thick white flame, the flame clearly seemed to feel like pieces of thousand years cold ice. However, how could ice release such a hot flame? What was this strange thing? Don't tell me. Don't tell me this is a heavenly flame. Yun Ji blinked her eyes and recalled those strange natural flames. Her heart beat violently. On top of her heart being shocked, she did not know whether to laugh or cry. She had managed to see two heavenly flames today while they were usually extremely rare to see on any day. Could this be considered lucky? 
This old sir, thank you for helping. Haha. <laughs> But these jumping clowns do not pose too much of a threat to me, after shaking her head to remove those thoughts from her head, Yunji said with a smile to the flaming person in front of her as a gratitude and gentleness surfaced on her pretty face. Perhaps, the flaming human figure said faintly, I am not a person who likes to meddle in matters. If it were not for someone making a request, I would not put in so much effort to hurry over. Someone's request. Hearing this. Yunji was momentarily at a loss. Her eyebrows were pressed together as she asked, Old sir, may I know who is the one who requested for you to come and help me? Is it Guhi? He he. Guhi may have quite a good reputation in the Jiuma Empire, but he doesn't have the qualification to request me to do anything. The old laughter from the flaming human figure contained a little disdain. Hearing the flaming human figure readily disagree, Yunji was once again at a loss. A doubt immediately flashed across her pretty face. Among all the people she knew, there were not many who had the ability to invite a Dohuang to take action. Moreover, her current arrival in the desert was part of a secret plan. There were only a few people that knew about it. Thus, only Guhi had the highest possibility. However, from the tone of the old man, it seemed that he was not too concerned about the Pill King. Stop thinking. After getting rid of these long-tailed snake people, I also need to quickly go and do something. The flaming human figure waved his hand and said blandly. He immediately raised his head and watched the five Douwangs in midair. In a faint voice, he said, I have long heard that the Dou techniques of the snake people race are very unique. Today, I would like to try taking them on. The corner of the grey-clothed old man's mouth twitched as his gaze stared sinisterly at the flaming human figure. Even with his experience, he realized that he could not determine the origin of this strong person in front of him. He felt some disbelief and his mood gradually sunk. They could still rely on merging their Dou Qi to fight against a Dou Huang for a while. However, if it there were two Dou Huang, then the five of them would be easily defeated by their opponents. The grey-clothed old man clearly knew how strong a Dohuang was and naturally knew the difference between his group and their opponents. The snake people race does not have any grudges against you. However, your action today will be remembered by the snake people race, even though their group lost in strength, the grey-clothed old man did not want to appear weak. Thus even though they were at a disadvantage, the grey-clothed old man kept his cold smile as he left some resolute words. After which, he released a sharp cry and shouted, Withdraw! Hearing the grey-clothed old man cry, the surrounding four Douwangs hesitated for a moment before they stared unresigningly at the flaming human figure in the sky. Their hands simultaneously formed some seals. Following a cry, the five snake people appeared to explode. Numerous small energy snakes swarmed out in all directions the moment the explosion sounded in the air and began rushing out towards all directions in the desert. When she saw the grey-clothed old man's group intending to flee, Yunji frowned. She was just about to move her body to block them when that flaming human figure shook his hand. Yunji could only stop her action when she saw the flaming human figure's movement. After the flaming human figure coldly watched those countless of fleeing small energy snakes for an instant, he gently waved both his palms. Immediately, five sharp needles coagulated from the thick white flame and began to swiftly form in front of him. As the five flame sharp needles slowly rotated, the flaming human figure icily watched the surrounding small energy snakes that appeared to have covered the entire place. His ferocious spiritual strength broke out of his body and scanned for the real body hidden among the countless small snake. Instantly, he let out a soft cold smile. Tapping his finger gently, the five thick white flame sharp needles suddenly shot in five different directions. The thick white flame sharp needles may have appeared tiny but they left a few faint white scars in the blue sky as they passed through the air. The hot temperature that was contained within them also caused the surrounding air to be vaporized into nothing. Seeing that these humble-looking spiraling flame-sharp needles were actually able to create such power, an astonished expression appeared on Yun Ji's face. The curiosity she had for the identity of this mysterious person in front of her also grew. 
The spiraling flame sharp needles cut through the skyline in a lightning like manner and shot into the small energy snakes that were running in all directions. Although the small energy snake largely appeared completely the same, the spiraling sharp needles appeared to have a clear target. Along the way, they incinerated a few small snakes which were blocking their paths into nothingness before viciously piercing at five extremely small snakes. Appearing to have felt the imminent frightening attack, the five small snakes hurriedly turned their heads around. A human-like shock appeared in their triangular-shaped eyes when they saw the flame-sharp needles shooting towards them. Allowing the tiger to return to the mountain is not my style. Since we have become enemies, I will naturally not leave any seeds of trouble, the flaming human figure said softly as he stared indifferently at the five small snakes which were about to be struck by the spiraling flame needles. Behind him, Yun Ji did not say anything when she saw the flaming human figure's action. She was not a foolish kind of person. When it was time to be vicious, she would be more vicious than even some executioners. Having reached her position and strength, she had mastered the skill of deciding when to be vicious and when to be kind. TL, allowing the tiger to return to the mountain, Chinese idiom, meaning letting a potentially dangerous enemy escape which may lead to serious problems in the future. In the sky, five flame-sharp needles, accompanied by sharp explosive sounds, shot ferociously at the five small snakes. However, something happened the moment the needles were about to touch their body. Humph! The moment before the five small snakes were about to be struck, the flaming human figure suddenly trembled intensely. A soft muffled croon sounded from within the flame. Clearly hearing this muffled croon, Yun Ji stilled and hurriedly asked, Old sir, are you all right? Her face changed just after she asked those words. This was because she felt an extremely strong qi suddenly surging from within the thick white flame. This qi appeared out of thin air and spread across the empty space like lightning. It swiftly caught up with those five flame sharp needles. With a slight shake, it shook the five sharp needles that were formed from the heavenly flame into nothingness. During this extremely dangerous moment, the five small snakes swayed their snake tails and violently drilled their bodies into the sand dunes, disappearing from the sight of the two people in a very embarrassing manner. Damn beast, a furious old voice sounded from within the thick white flame as he saw the five small snakes disappear. As the angry cursing fell, the faintly wild and terrifying qi gradually extinguished. A moment later, the qi completely disappeared as if it had never appeared. Ugh, what a waste of effort, the flaming human figure sighed and shook his head. He violently smacked his sleeves as though he was scolding something. Then he turned around, glanced at the pretty Yun Zi before flying toward the edge of the desert. When he was flying past Yun Ji's shoulders, the flaming human figure paused slightly. There was a brief hesitation before he said, Oh yes, a young fellow told me to relay his apologies to you. He seemed to have gone a little overboard just a few minutes ago. Hearing this, Yun Ji's lovely body stilled. Her small red moist lips widened and her pretty face was totally stunned. From this little bit of information that the mysterious person had haphazardly revealed, she learned that. This Do Huang who had hurried over to support her was actually someone that Xiao Yan had invited. This little fellow. His power isn't small. It seems I have underestimated you in the past. Yun Ji muttered in shock as she tilted her head and eyed the flaming human figure that had swiftly disappeared from the edge of her vision.